kweli na uongo katika mambo mseto Right hii hapa ndo mseto East Africa mzazi Willy M Tuva na nashukuru sana kwamba umesubscribe na shukuru pia kwamba unaitazama mseto East Africa ambayo inakupatia burudani na habari za burudani exclusive stories hapa ndo nyumbani na leo kitu moja tunataka kwenda kuangazia ni kuhusu kazi ambayo ameifanya Alemba pamoja na mwenzake Hopkid Alemba alikuja akafanya collaboration ya mafani nzuri sana ambayo imetamba. Hii ni kazi ambayo aliweza kushirikiana lakini baada ya kazi hii kutoka um, hata kwenye interview ya mambo mseto Alemba alikuja peke yake. Unajua? Alafu ukiangalia kwa upande wake Hopkid hakuiposti ile video. Unajua? Hakuwa anajishughulisha kabisa kuizungumzia. Kuna wakati fulani ilikuja likatokea tatizo ambapo Hopkid alikumbwa na tatizo fulani kashfa ambazo zilipelekea pia watu wengi sana kuzunguza vibaya. Watu wengi wamejiuliza, "Je, kwa nini Hopkid hako post video? Na kwa nini Alemba aliacha ku post video ama kuipush ile ngoma? Je, ni kwa sababu Hopkid alikumbwa na matatizo ama ni kwa sababu ya kitu gani?" Naomba tumpigie Alemba kwanza, baadaye tumpigie Hopkid tuweze kujua ukweli. Brother, eh hey, mambo vipi? Mambo vipi ndugu yangu? Niko poa sana. Siku nyingi brother umenyamaza? Asante. Niko tu, kutulia tu. Okay. Nimekupigia kuhusiana na na ingoma yako hii ambayo ulikuwa umeitoa. Sijui uh, inaendeleaje so far? Ah, muziki endelea po. Mhm. Endelea kupik tu mdogo mdogo. Okay. But imeenda sana. Okay. Uh, ah, ni, uh, sasa hivi tunavyoongea ni kwamba tuko kwenye tuko live kwenye Mseto East Africa. Okay. Um, na kuna maswali mawili matatu nilikuwa nataka kujua kuhusiana na progress ya muziki wako na vitu ambavyo una plan kufanya eh. Mhm. Um, ulikuwa umefanya collaboration na Hopkid lakini kitu kimoja ni kwamba Hopkid hakuwahi kupost hii ngoma. Labda tatizo ilikuwa nini? Ah, kulingana na yeye mimi au kulingana na mimi ni sijui tatizo lolote liko na hiyo ngoma. Mm-hmm. But maybe ni bila yeye alikuwa na vitu nyingi hiyo wakati ndio vitu nyingi zilimkumba na maybe hakupata hiyo nafasi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um uh, we binafsi pia ulikuwa unaipush sana ngoma na ilikuwa inafanya vizuri kwa sababu it's a very very good song. Lakini baadaye uliacha kuipush. Je, tatizo ambalo lilimkumba Hopkid lilichangia kufanya usiendelee kuipost ama kuipush? Um hapana, lakini uh, kitu moja naweza sema ni unajua hiyo time ni ile watu walikuwa ukipost kitu yoyote kuhusu mtu yote ambaye alikuwa na hiyo hiyo tatizo mm. watu wanaongea vibaya unajua yeah. so kwa hivyo sikutaka sikutaka watu waendelee kuongea vibaya mhm ndio maana nika nikatulie ku post mm-hmm. lakini bado nika bado nilikuwa nikipost kidogo kidogo pale na pale okay um je uh, utamtaka labda hopkid aendelee ku push ngoma ama uliachana uli give up na story ya kuweza kutaka labda aendelee ku Eh, sikuma kazi yako maana ni kazi nzuri. Ah mimi mimi sijakataza mtu yeyote kupush mm. Na hata saa hii madansa wengi sana wamenitumia video ni vile sijapata chance ya kuziripost na kufanya mm. nini. Mm-hmm. Lakini Hopkid Hopkid kwa sasa akona akona project nyingine mpya. Mm-hmm. So sasa akiweza kupost ni sasa. Okay. Asipo asipo post bado tuendelee au Okay. So wewe binafsi na na, na Hopkid mko vizuri? Uh, hamna tatizo lolote labda? Si tuko sawa. Uh-huh. Atuna shida lolote. Uh-huh. Ah, tuko sawa. Okay, wakati alipopita ile alipopatikana na ile tatizo ama changamoto labda uliwahi kumpigia, kumpa pole ama kumpatia moyo? Ah, mimi nilimpigia nikamuuliza kuna endeleaje, akanipatia update. Mm. Um, lakini kamwambia kwanza atulie hizi vitu ziende chini kidogo. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ah na wakati imefika sasa lazima aendelee. Unajua lazima mziki aendelee. Okay. Asante sana Lemba kwa muda wako nimefurahi kuongea nawe kupitia kwenye Mseto East Africa. Nashukuru sana mzazi. Okay. Nam, umesikia alichokisema Alemba. Nafikiri sasa itakuwa vizuri sana kama tunaweza kumpigia uh, Hopkid ili tuweze kutafuta ukweli. Tujue ukweli ni gani. Kweli na uongo. Weka tetesi kando, pata habari za ukweli. Um, kuna, kuna kuna ngoma ambayo uh, pia uliifanya na Alemba lakini haukuipost kwa nini hukuipost ile ile ngoma 
uh, ile ngoma let me say kulikuwa na internal issues basically to do with the production mm-hmm. of which uh, whereby nili stand down to nikasema if this is what is going to happen mm. uh, let it happen but it will happen without my let me say my support towards the whole matter mm-hmm. because as we grow in the music industry mm-hmm. we cannot push for play kenyan music mm. and we don't invest in the kind of work we do okay so, so uh, me stepping down ilikuwa a matter of investment in work like nataka kesho nichezwe trace daily mhm siwezi wapatie video nzuri leo kesho na wapatie video mbaya mhm you understand and uh, people who know me they know i i put a lot in my projects if it's video i make sure nimefanya with the top director in Kenya if it's uh, audio i make sure i invest in it so that if opportunity presents itself mm. i'm ready Okay. So uh un- unasema kama ulikuwa na tatizo na uh, production. Yeah, the production. The the video production I had an issue with it. Mm. That was not the uh, the right video which was supposed to go online. Mm-hmm. But since me and him uh, we didn't agree just wanted a video. Mm-hmm. I wanted a better video. Okay. So nika nikamwambia badala hata ni pige simu tuifunge itoke YouTube. Mm. Let me just step away. Mm-hmm. because it was his project and since ni project yake he has 100% right to do whatever he wants with it mm-hmm. yeah okay asante sana opkid kwa kweli nimefurahi sana kwamba umepokea simu yangu na umekubali kuongea na mimi kunielewesha vitu muhimu ambavyo nilikuwa nahitaji kujua shukran sana asante okay, okay. naam hatimaye umeweza kusikia kauli kutoka kwa wasanii hao wawili umesikia alichokisema alemba kwamba hawana tatizo eh na kwa upande wake Hopkid ameelezea kwamba kulikuwa na tatizo na tatizo ni video. Naamini kwamba hatimaye umeweza kujua ukweli. Lakini ukweli halisi pia ni kwamba kazi ambayo imefanywa na Alemba na kazi ambayo aliifanya akiwa ameshirikiana na Hopkid ni kazi moja nzuri sana. Wimbo ni mzuri. Na naamini kwamba wajibu wetu, wajibu wako we kama unaitazama ni kuweza kusupport mziki mzuri. Mziki mzuri kutoka hapa nchini Kenya lakini tetesi na maswala ambayo yanahusisha wasanii eh, eh, tetesi rumors na vitu kama hivyo hapa tu kwenye mseto East Africa ndipo tunafafanua fununu na kupatia ukweli hii ndio mseto East Africa asante kwa kutazama kumbuka kusubscribe na ku turn on the notification button ili uweze kupata uhondo kila wakati nite mzazi ukipenda muzade nimemaliza <laughs>